If I had to choose just one tool to help me grow on Pinterest, my answer would probably have to be Tailwind. Tailwind is the tool that I use to grow my own Pinterest account to over 180,000 followers. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I use it. And also Tailwind just recently came out with a brand new feature that is a game changer that I have been absolutely loving. And so I'm super excited to share this video and show you some of the ways that I use Tailwind and the new features that they just recently launched. And this video is actually in partnership with Tailwind, but the only reason why I'm doing Doing the partnership is because I actually use Tailwind very often on a daily basis almost. And so when the opportunity came to work with them, I was super excited and excited to show you how I use this flow. Now, if you aren't familiar with Tailwind or for whatever reason is your first time hearing about them, the way that I like to describe Tailwind is basically a personal assistant for Pinterest. Now they do help you with other social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook and things like that. The general way that I like to use it is for Pinterest specifically. Now, once you go through and create your Tailwind account, you're gonna be taken into a view that looks something like this. If you don't have a Tailwind, Tailwind account, be sure to check out the link down below to sign up. Now, if you are new to Tailwind and considering signing up, they do have a free forever plan. You can take advantage of that by clicking the link down below in the description. I will, however, mention that a lot of the features that I will be showing today, I do personally have the advanced plan and I do recommend people starting off with the pro plan because it just gives you so much more of the automated credits, their AI credits. And that's where I find the most value in Tailwind to be, honestly. But if you're not sure about it, you can get started with the free plan forever, basically, and use that. Problem is you only have five AI credits, which you'll see can limit you a little bit, but yeah, you have all those different options there. And it's only $15 a month if you get billed annually, which is I think pretty affordable. And you'll see why I think that's a great deal. Now, once you sign up for your account, you're gonna be taking to a view that looks something like this. It will look a little bit different for you because you probably don't have pins already scheduled and you don't have your calendar all built out and things like that. But it will look something like this in this left-hand column where you have the pin scheduler. That's where we're gonna be starting off kind of walking through this process. Now in this left-hand menu, you can see there's lots of different things. You have your pin schedule, dashboards, drafts, graded, blogs, ghostwriter, communities, insights, and more. We're gonna be going through all these tabs, but most of the meat and potatoes is gonna be inside of the pin scheduler. Over here, you can see the total amount of monthly posts you can schedule. So right now I have seven of a thousand because I am on the pro plan, I think it is, or whatever one it's called. And then I currently have 51 of 250 AI credits to use. And anytime you can come through here and upgrade your account. And then as you can see in this kind of main menu here, there are a bunch of pins that have honestly just been automatically created for me from Tailwind. And I'm gonna show you how you can do this yourself so that you can get Tailwind to basically pump out content for for you. And the best part is once this content is created, I can then put it in this smart scheduler, which suggests the best times for me to post my pins. We'll get into that in just a little bit and how this process works. But first I do want to talk about how to get Tailwind to start creating your pins. You can see here when you are inside of the pin scheduler, there are four different options here. You can either upload pins manually. So say that you designed a pin outside of Tailwind, maybe in Canva or some other tool, and you wanted to upload it, you could do that there. The next option is to generate pins. So you can fill in your schedule with easy to use social post generator. I'll show you how that works here in just a minute. Then the next one, which is one of the newer things that Pinterest just introduced is this smart pin feature. And this has been an absolute game changer for me. And I'm going to show you why. And then the last one is you can actually just manually design pins inside of Pinterest. So we're going to be going through all of these except for the upload one, maybe like pretty straightforward. You just upload your pins and you can schedule them. But we're going to start here in the pin generation. And you can see with this Pinterest pin generator, essentially all I need to do is add in a URL here from your blog and it will crawl that to get context and also images from that blog post to then make a Pinterest pin. Then here you can add keywords if you wanted to. So if I wanted to say this is about an electric fireplace, I can put that on there and then just hit enter. And then you can add as many keywords as you want to. And then we're gonna hit generate pin. And of course, keep in mind that this is only work if you have images on your blog post. So the better the images on your blog post, the better this will turn out. But this is a pretty quick way to automate creating some pins. And you can see right here, it now spit out a pin for me and it even puts the headline in the description. And the best part is now I can take this and I can click schedule pin. And when I come over here, you can see it will then have the pin all ready for me to actually schedule it out. It has the pin title, the description, the website URL. And then all I need to do is choose the board that I want this to go into. Let's go here. Let's say that we want to put this electric fireplace wall, let's take that. And then I can schedule it into the scheduler. It will automatically place it into the next best empty slot here. And then if I wanted to move it, I say I maybe wanted to do one post a day instead of four or five, I can move this over here. But the beautiful thing about this smart scheduler is it actually goes through and it reads the data for your Pinterest account and it tells you the exact times that you should essentially be pinning and even the amounts that you should pinning every day. That's one of the common questions that I get inside of Pinterest. And this just makes it so easy. Tailwind's basically telling me, hey, on Sundays, you should post, try and post five times and fill up those slots. You see, I'm a little bit behind here. I'm just basically posting once a day and I'm only scheduled out for like the next week or two. But if you just spent an hour inside of here, you could get the all these slots essentially all filled out. Now, the nice thing is to say that you didn't want something to be scheduled like this one out here for me. And I didn't have very many images on my blog post. So it kind of looked like this. It wasn't like a greatest little pin. That's
that's not a problem at all. I don't even have to schedule this. It just kind of stays here. And if I wanted to delete it, I can click on this little thing and I can delete this pin from my view. So it's just completely out of the way. These are other pins that have been automatically created for me. And I'm gonna show you how that works here in a minute that I could then move into my scheduler as well. And that's where we, I want to move on to the next feature inside of Pinterest, which is the smart pin feature. And this is my favorite feature to date. Essentially what this does is it generates weekly pins for you to use every week, basically. So you can see right now, all these blog posts, they're scheduled to create more pins on April 23rd. Then I can come in here on April 23rd and I can go through and I can make schedules for each one of those pins. So let me show you exactly how that works. So we're gonna come over here. We're going to add a new smart pin. It's going to ask for the URL of our blog post here. We're going to put in our URL and then make sure that we add in the keywords here. This is a board and batten and then hit enter. And then you can, like I said, you can add as many keywords as you want. And it's important to note that pins are generated weekly and we'll use three AI credits each. So when they generated them, this is where you can see I have 53 out of 250. It will take three of those credits when it generates the pin. So keep that in mind. We're going to hit next here. And then it is going to get to work to start generating some specific images, or it will ask you for the images that it crawls on the website. So we'll let this load here. And then now we can choose the images from our blog post. So yeah, I want that one in there. I like this one as well. I like showing the process. Definitely want this one, this one, and then maybe a close up of the hooks, this one, and kind of the whole process. We can add each of these. And what's nice is if you wanted some of these and later you change your mind, you could definitely change that. You can let someone choose for you. Most of the time though, I don't recommend that. I like to actually choose the specific images and then we're gonna hit save select images. And then now you can see we're making your smart pin. So after your smart pin is created, you can view, edit and schedule it in the pin scheduler. So right now it's making those pins for us. So once we come back over to our pin scheduler, they should be here in just a minute. So we're gonna come back over to our pin scheduler, see if those are being created. It usually takes just a second. We'll come back here. We'll refresh this page in about two minutes and they should be good to go. Okay, and like literally in 20 seconds, it now spit out this image right here. Now the cropping on this image is kind of weird because that's how the blog post, it, it doesn't fit super well here. So you can see the design is a little bit off, but it gave me the pin title, the pin description and the website URL. And whenever this happens, it's very easy to just change or edit the design. So you can see you can change pin design. From here, you can choose something else or you can actually just grab a different image. So say that I wanted to grab this one right now instead, and then I could use generate right here and then it will create me a completely new design. And there you go. Now it spit that out, which I think it looks a lot better there. And then if you wanted to, you can change the pin title, the description or the URL here. But now this pin is ready for us to post. And the best part is now when I come back over here to my smart pins, I've now put in how many blog posts I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now automatically nine pins will be created for me every single week that will be added to my pin scheduler that I can then either quickly edit and schedule in, or I can choose not to use essentially. And if I wanted to get another pin now, let's say I want another one from this board and batten, or let's say I wanted one for this DIY fireplace, I can put hit get pin now, and then it will use a credit so I can use it right away. And then it will schedule it into the pin schedule. You can see it'll take a second. It will make that post there and then it'll be in the scheduler. All right. And there is our pin ready for us to schedule. So now we went over the generate pin, the smart pin. The last thing that we can do here to actually create a pins is design the pins ourselves. And same thing, what you can do is you can add in a URL here. So I've already added in one of my URLs and it kind of got all the pictures from that. So from here, after you add in the URL, it will give you essentially a bunch of different designs that you can choose from inside of here. You can select the designs or you can actually edit them. So you can click here and you can edit the design. You can drag and drop, change the text as you would like to. Then you can hit back and say, okay, say that I'm really liking this design. I can then hit select here and then I continue and select up to five of them. For here now, I'm just gonna grab one here to show you what this looks like. And then I can review the designs. And then here I have them. And then from here I can hit go to scheduler and then confirm. And then this does not take up any AI credits because it we basically are designing them ourselves to a certain degree. Then you can see, I then need to go through and add the pin title, the description and the boards here, which oftentimes is what takes a lot of time. If I wanted to though, I could use the ghost writer here to add in those after the fact. So I can hit ghost writer. And then I could say what I'm posting about. Let's see here. We'll do lifestyle content and then we can add our keywords and then we can hit generate pin details. And then it will generate the pin title the description and give us a couple of different options here that we can choose from. But you can see this does take a little bit more time as opposed to using the generate pin or the smart pin feature. And even though it still is using the AI to write it, it just takes that much more time. And honestly, that little bit of time does make a big difference. So usually I'll hit save details here and then it's all inside of there all ready to go. And then if I wanted to make mass edits to all of these, you can see I have all of them selected here. What's nice is you can select as many as you want here. And then from here, you can hit delete bulk edit and you can edit the pin title, the description, the URL or the boards that they're all going to. Let's say that I wanted all of these to go to a specific board. Let's say to my kitchen shelves. Let's say I wanted to go to kitchen shelves. I can apply that to all of those and then it will be applied to all of those different boards there. But let me show you my favorite feature with the bulk edit. Essentially is the bulk edit schedule here. So we now just created a couple of different pins and let's say that I want them to go live 
have on my profile. And then you can see through the smart pin, these are basically, some of these pins have been getting created like daily here. Let's say that I wanted to then actually just schedule all these out. So I'm gonna grab all the pins that it has created here. I got quite a few, Let's grab this one, this one, this one. And then now if I wanted to schedule these 12 pins, I can hit schedule. And then it's gonna ask me to add the boards. So I'm gonna go through and add the boards for all of these real quick. Okay, so I have them all added into their boards now. Oops, one more that I need to add into here. And then now I can hit schedule all 12 and then look over here on this right hand side what it's going to do it's going to fill in all of these little spots right here so now for the next five days i have essentially 12 more pins and as i mentioned a lot of times i like to spread these out a little bit more so what i'll do is i'll grab some of the content and i'll move it further down to make sure that for the next month i at least have one pin going out every single day and then on sundays i try to do at least two is the schedule that i have if you wanted to you could essentially load up this schedule this is basically super optimized for the times that you want to schedule but i like to move them around a little bit so it's a little bit spread out and then now essentially my content is all planned out for the entire month all using Tailwind. Now, another feature or thing that you can look at here is the dashboard on this left-hand side. When you come into here, this will show you another like calendar view of what's gonna be going out that week. And it also does suggest like content ideas, like lifestyle content, behind the scenes, educate your followers, grow your email list, things along those lines, which is helpful. But most of what I do is usually in the pin scheduler. Here is where you can see specific drafts of pins inside of this view. So drafts that you've been working on or you wanna come back to. You can create these for your accounts, like your Instagram account or your Pinterest account. And then it has the different post types. So feed, story, or pin. Right here inside of the create is where you can also create more images. Inside of the pin schedule, the design pins and the create basically are the exact same thing that we already went over at this point. But one other feature that I really like here is the blogs. What you can do with blogs is you can actually add your site here. So I added house to home DIY.com and then it was able to go and crawl all of my blog posts. This may sound like a little thing, but it is super helpful because instead of having to go and create a list like this where I list out all of my blog post links, now I can just come in here, here to tell and I can say, okay, Tailwind, here's a blog post that I haven't created something for in a long time. Let's create social posts for it, or you can do it yourself or use the AI credit. Hit create social post, and then it will go and not only create you a Pinterest pin, but it will also create a Facebook post and also an Instagram post. You can see an example of some of the ones that I've done here. And then if I wanted to schedule those out, I can split and click that and then edit and schedule them as I need to. So it's just an awesome way to get everything all scheduled and built out. And even if you don't like the design that it spits out, you can always go through and edit it, and it gives you a good kind of baseline to start with. And then of course, Tailwind does have also some more features including email marketing you can use one of their smart bio like link tree essentially things and then it does also have like these little communities that you can join and these insight tabs there's all sorts of different tools inside of here but to be honest with you most of the time i don't utilize a lot of those tools so i'm not the best one to talk about them or educate you on how to use them the main things that i'm using right now is this new blogs feature the pin scheduler and the dashboard for growing inside of tailwind but hopefully after this you can see just how powerful this tool can be in a matter of you know half an hour you can have your whole month's content content all planned out. And then you don't have to worry or stress about, hey, am I pinning enough on inside of Pinterest? Am I hitting people at the right time? Or am I showing them the right content? This makes it super easy to get that all done. Now, if you are gonna be utilizing the smart scheduler, as I mentioned, Tailwind does have the free forever plan, but this is where you're gonna start seeing some of those limitations with the only five AI credits. That's why I do recommend starting off with the pro plan. That's of course up to you, but you can check out that all down below in the description. Hopefully you found this video tutorial helpful and we'll see you in the next one.